Ponmagal Vandal is a 2020 courtroom drama film starring Jyotika in the lead role and is written and directed by JJ Fedrick in his debut film. The movie is produced by both uh, Surya and Jyotika. If you don't know, those two are married in real life and have decided to produce this movie. When I first wanted to watch this video on Amazon Prime, it released there on uh, May 29th. I was a bit skeptical about it because ever since uh, Jyotika tried to return to acting in the year 2015, uh, she's been regularly choosing movies that have messages in them. Every single movie, if you see after 2015, it's a very message driven movie. Honestly, it kind of works in this type of genre. I mean, what better way to promote a message that too, especially some, something as sensitive as, uh, as child abuse and rape than a courtroom. So this was a perfect genre to, you know, uh, do any message driven movie. So this is right up our alley. Now, honestly, when you watch this movie, the first thing you can really count on as a guarantee is Jyotika's performance. Her performance is outstanding in this movie. I mean, literally, you can watch any movie of her, even the worst movies in her filmography. Her performance is usually the one saving grace in that movie. And this one is no different. Everything in this movie is on her shoulders. She carries this movie flawlessly. Just look at the emotional scenes, the way she delivers dialogues. It felt so realistic that if I ever, I wish I would get a chance to interview her someday because I really want to know her process, like how she gets into these characters because it doesn't feel like, you know, this is an actor playing that role. It always feels like this is that person in real life that I'm seeing through the camera. And the emotional scenes in this movie are very, very deep. One thing this I love about this movie is the emotional scenes apart from the Jyotika's performance because the emotional scenes really hit because it's somewhat it's a realistic thing that's actually happening in uh, in the world and I'm really glad that the director has decided to approach the topic even though there have been other films uh, better films that have approached this topic before and why do I say that? Be because uh, this movie reminds me a little too much of the Jolly LLB films, both parts. And honestly, I feel like Jolly LLB did this uh, much better. And I'm not saying they delved into this exact subject, but as far as courtroom dramas go, I really wished that because the subject is so sensitive like this, I really wished it would go more for the pink movie route. Uh, I mean, the, for those in Tamil, that's Nerkonda Parve, the Tamil remake of Pink. Uh, I kind of wished it would go that route instead of this Jolly LLB route because Jolly LLB, I don't know if it will work with such things and uh, basing off of this movie alone, it didn't really do that much. Now, another positive which I can tell you is that the cinematography is beautiful. I really wish that I want to go to Uti and, you know, just live there for a few days. The cinematography is that good. There's this particular scene that happens in the movie where this character imagines himself in that position even though he was never really there. The scene is him, you know, analyzing uh, the, everything uh, that the police guy is telling. It kind of reminded me of that scene from the Vishal starer Nasigapu Maniten. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know the scene. Uh, you know, after the female lead in Nasigapu Maniten gets attacked, Vishal goes to that very same place and imagines himself through all of that and then pieces together the next, uh, the next plan. It's similar to that and I gotta say, uh, <laughs> the movie utilized that very good. Just look out for that scene. It's re it's done beautifully. And that's why I'm giving Panmagal Vandal a 6 out of 10. It's fine. It's an above average movie. It's fine. It's not as bad as some critics are making it out to be. Watching this movie, there were some good things in it, like the ones which I mentioned before. However, the movie, I kind of get where the critics are coming from. It 
so there are a few negatives in the movie and i felt like the movie could have been a lot better if the director had acknowledged some of these before going into production one of the main problem with the movie is the genre when you're doing a courtroom drama i don't know about the tamil audience but a general audience expects uh, you know the arguments between the two opposing lawyers to be you know very engaging and powerful but this courtroom drama was so dull there wasn't anything you can get behind in this jolly llb if i keep referencing to that because the movie is so similar to it um but if you look at jolly llb even in uh, both parts the opposing lawyers are brilliant in that they were written very well the dialogues are great and you could really get behind those lawyers but in here the courtroom drama is so dull one of the main reason for this is that the writer focuses way too much on uh, emotional scenes as you know uh, power uh, as proof whereas instead of uh, any charged arguments and evidence yeah they do present some evidence but evidently it's an emotional statement that wins the court i don't know how this will work in real life this was one of my main problems with jolly llb2 that it's the ev- inevitable emotional statement that wins the court case another thing which i found a little uh, disappointing was that the story is way too predictable the very first scene in the movie is uh, shows uh, shows you everything and which makes the later part and the twist completely unwatchable because there's zero surprise in the movie and speaking of characters none of these characters except jyotika is developed beyond their one personality trait i mean tell me what do you know about any of these characters apart from their one trait nothing and the worst the absolute worst part i hate uh, i hated in this movie is the villain he is complete garbage he has nothing to do in this movie uh, apart from that one role and he does nothing throughout the other parts of the movie and speaking of scenes uh, although i mentioned that the scenes are beautiful there are certain scenes most of them with jyotika and bhagyaraj that happens way too often it's the same scene repeated over and over and, and that's all for my review of pamnagal vandal i'm sorry if this is a long yes. review if you like this video please hit that like button please uh, share this video with your friends hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that i keep coming on to your feet comment below what you thought of the movie and what um, what you thought of this video i'll see you in the next one bye